Now at a time when most high streets seem to look the same and developers have their eye on every neighbourhood, perhaps we should celebrate those parts of London that have barely changed for decades. Gary Crowley has been to one such corner of South East London to find some hidden gems. I've lived in London all of my life and whilst I mostly love the way that it's constantly evolving and mutating, I absolutely adore those last vestiges of old London. And on the Woolworth Road, you don't have to look far. Take this tailors, a throwback to when suits really were a luxury. This is a, a, a well-known um, style that the mods like, the old frog. From boxers to pop stars, George has measured up just about everyone. I have uh, the skin mods, I have the, the traditional mods, I have the city gentlemen, I have doctors, professors, lawyers. How difficult is it going to be to sort of, you know, to stick around? People like things that are different, so they see, see this in the marketplace, I think they'll embrace it. A few doors down is this army surplus store. As window displays go, it's hardly Selfridges, but it is a vital part of the community's fabric. I've only been here almost 60 years. My father started it 70 years ago. I just play it day by day sort of thing. And then when I think I can't continue anymore, then put my feet up and retire. It keeps me occupied anyway. If I wasn't occupied, I'd just sit down and then wouldn't be able to get up. I've never got a customer. Not only the wonderful shops, but Woolworth Road is also famous for East Lane Market. It's been a market here for over 170 years. In fact, the whole place is steeped in history. One local boy did rather well for himself. All this walking, a man needs a decent pair of shoes. In Woolworth Road, there's only one place to go, Fred the Shoe. I've got people coming who remember coming here when they were kids, you know? And, and even their fathers coming. I try them on, they're, they're very popular now. Well, over the years, I suppose it's, uh, it has changed a fair amount. But if you wanted to start up a new business like this, well, you know, you'd need a staff with something like £100,000. Yeah. So, and, and you'd struggle. It's got a wonderful sort of oldie, worldy sort of feel oh, to yeah, it. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. Was, was that like a conscious decision to kind of keep... No, no, it's more laziness. It's, <laughs> right. It's, yeah, it's I love more, your honesty. It's more laziness because we couldn't be bothered. The future of this shop, actual shop, is, is probably down to me. It's uh, basically it's elf. If I'm still here, I don't drop down dead or anything like that, but there's no way really to take over from that. And we're better to end our visit to Woolworth Road than outside Clubland, where a local Campbellwell lad made his acting debut. And not a lot of people know that. <laughs> Gary Crowley there. OK, let's cross over to Peter for the weather. And, Peter, it was good to see the sun shining today.